Hello and welcome to Simplified Triple Studies. Today I will be discussing one of the important video related to research. Those who are planning to publish in a reputed journal based on the UGC care list, you need to check before submitting your paper, you have to check whether the journal is belong to UGC care list or not. How to check it and how to make your publication with a certain standard and how to identify the clown journals. So that is a simple video which I am going to discuss today. Initially, you need to go to a search engine. First of all, you need to type UGC care list. You can type like this. Press enter. Go for the first option, UGC care. Pune University, please do click on that. Wait for a while. Here you can see list of clone journals, group one and group two. If you want, you can go through first. So let me click on the group one. You can see two columns. In the first column, you can see print journals included in UGC care list. Another one is clone journals not included in UGC care list. Before submitting your paper, make sure that the second column, the journals belong to second column should not include in your uh, checklist. So here you can see the title, the first case, uh, Abru. Okay, language will be in Punjabi. Then publisher, uh, Baljit Singh Raina, ISSN and URL is already, ISSN is given, but URL is not given. But if, if it is a clown journals, then similar name, you can see the similar name. Also, the original journal will be published only in Punjabi, but here you can see Punjabi and English. And another thing is, uh, you can mention the name of a publisher and ISS and everything will be same and they have given the URL also. But the thing is, as per the UGC care list, the journal, in the journal, the language, will, the, ba the basic language will be in Punjabi only. But if it is in a clown journal, the language will be both Punjabi and English. Okay, such cases you need to identify which is the UGC care list and which is not in the UGC care list. That you need to take care. Likewise, you can think over that. So, please come down. So, these are the difference. Okay. So, name will be almost similar, but the thing is the originality. I'm In the sense, uh, which uh, the original journal which is belong to UGC care list that is given in the left column and the right side you can see the clone journals that is not at all belong to UGC care list. So while publishing your article, you should be very much careful. Otherwise, your uh, article, the value of the article will not be considered. It will be wasted actually. So likewise, you can uh, think initially. All right. So there are different journals which are given in the UGC care one. Okay. Similar UGC care two list, you can go through that. So like that, you can uh, find out. But the name will be almost similar. See, the yellow colored font that or whatever the yellow colored font they have mentioned that is clown journals like that you can uh, check it out similarly you can go through group two group two is also you can see the different list of group two also so in the first column journals in group two and the clown journals these are the two information which you can observe from the screen so for example i would like to add one more point here you can see GIS signs. Uh, so this particular 11th one, serial number 11th. And uh, if it is a clone journal, okay, clone journal will be like this, GIS science journal, but original journal will be look in this fashion. Also in the clone journal, the language will be accepted in terms of English, but the original journal, okay, or, what about original journal? It is in terms of German only. Like that you need to identify. So before submitting your paper, first of all, you can visit the uh, website of UGC and I, you can identify the list one and list two and segregate which is clone journal and which is the original journal which is belong to UGC care list. Also, one more option is available. I think the screen is visible to everybody. See, you can observe here. Wait a minute. Here there is a login password. You can, if you want, you can log in. Okay. For example, so click on the title, select the title and uh, you can click on the value. 
For example, I am searching one of the journal called Samriddhi journal. Okay, just I clicked on the Samriddhi or you can go for the ISSN also. Anything is fine. Then go for the search option. Yes, of course, the Samriddhi journal is belong to a UGC care list. So we can verify. If you want to get to know more information about Samriddhi journal, click on the view option. Then you will be getting the journal details and the publication language. Obviously, this journal is belong to UGC care list. Also, whenever you are checking the time also matters a lot. Sometimes some journal may not be there in the UGC care list in the forthcoming years. Some journals might be added in the UGC care list like that. So before applying, you need to be careful all those things. So better you can create one account in the UGC care list. I have already created. Everybody can create. If you are having a mail ID, definitely you can create a certain account in the UGC care, in the UGC care list. It will be very easy to identify. It is must actually creating a login ID and password. All right. So this is the way how to identify the journal uh, which will be belong to UGC care list or not. If you are submitting a, a pH related article, UGC care should be there, especially in India. Uh, there is a university norms. So there are changes in the university rules and regulations. However, in general, I'll be telling you that UGC care list, at least your journal should be in UGC care list. Uh, in addition to the scoopers, if you, if you can make it scoopers, then that is great. And uh, at least you have to verify whether your journalist belong to UGC care list or not. So these are the basic information I would like to share with the researchers. So I already uh, made a few videos related to research. That also you can go through that. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you are having any queries. Happy learning.